Okay. Nice. Um, we're back. Okay. Again. So we are back, and today we are going to date August. August. I just want to say for the audience, it's been like what has it been? It's been like weeks since we like accidentally abandoned Finn. It's been about a month. It's I been think, a long time since we abandoned Finn at the fireworks festival. Yes, we did. And I'm so ready to get in this now with August. Like. I've missed these people. I've missed this crew. I'm ready. I'm willing. Oh no, like literally yesterday I was like, this week has been such shit. I need August. And what's exciting about this. It was an actual thought that passed through my brain. I I need August. Oh no, I'm obsessed. And what's exciting about doing the August route is the words that that they say right after I click this button about like changing and everything. They're going to be Do you remember their voice? The, 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 are you talking about the Britney Spears impression? The, dang it, yeah, it was the Britney Spears impression. It's a really, really posh. Like uppity, yeah, you've got a it. A very posh if Britney Spears. Okay. and you go watch the episodes, I would not be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. We're just gonna, it's it's like, just going to be whatever, whatever it, be it's going to be. Center of the ring. Just all all eyes on, I can do it, I can okay. do it. That's my interpretation of We don't need to quote August. Britney Spears again. All right, okay, ready, click. I'm done talking to you. Can I not just stay with you? <laughs> Surely you're the best person to show me around. They sigh heavily, contemplating my suggestion with narrowed eyes. That sounds reasonable, I suppose. Perfect, you nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Got it in one. Perfect. (laughs) August retrieves a rather extravagant fur coat from the hook near the doorway, turning on their heel to raise a brow at me. (laughs) I must stop. It's me, Grandma. It's <laughs> Grandma. It's me, Anastasia. Anastasia. I was when I was watching episode nine to get a title idea. Um, I, you and I made that joke then, and I said it so quickly that I could not comprehend what I said. I was like, "It's real Anastasia coat, and it's great." And it was like horrifying, and I couldn't comprehend it. Okay, go ahead. No, I spend every episode talking like that. So. <laughs> You have to catch up to me at some point. I'll just. That was me. It was post. me. I couldn't comprehend you. I understood you. Right. Just no, fine. but if you go faster, then I can just fix it in post because I can just slow down True. the, the audio of the clip. Okay, let me do this. You got it. I must stop by the office for something first. Get changed and wait for me outside. I can't remember how to talk. British. That's it. Yes, General. <laughs> I take a deep breath before heading back up to my room to find something that August may possibly deem interesting. Oh, getting fancy. Now we're outside, probably. It's taking a little bit to load. There it is. It's it's loading so slow for you, but it's loading I can't, perfectly it's like, fine it's for It's like a little... Worse. It's crawling. When I've changed into something a little less comfortable, I brave the chill and head for the enforcement headquarters. I stick... Oh. Hello? I stand and wait outside as instructed, but considering August didn't seem to have much time for me to explain my lateness, they're taking their sweet time inside. The cold is biting, snow still falling around me, a light dusting settling in my hair and upon my shoulders. I wonder who's gonna show up and ask me why I'm standing here. I I sigh, teeth chattering as I lean back (laughs) against cold stone, rubbing my palms together in an effort to generate even the slightest bit of warmth. Sarah and Robin complete a thought challenge. (laughs) You know what I meant. The town... Oh no, I've, I do the same the thing. The town looks enchanting beneath the lush blanket of white, and the distant sound of music and laughter makes me feel strangely at home. In addition to the our friends, the broomsticks, which I haven't seen in a month, and I'm really glad to see those. There was uh, the cousin of the broomsticks in In Blood, the... Yeah, girl. so our new thing is going to broomsticks. be looking for broomsticks in any game we play. Um, if you know of any games that are visual <laughs> novels that have broomsticks, broomsticks anywhere in them, I really urge you to Comment just leave down that below with below. your broomstick recommendation. Please. I wait a little more, withstanding the cold and boredom <laughs> as long as Kiki's I can. delivery service was very formative for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> August doesn't seem to be appearing anytime soon, so I decide to head inside. Oh god, we're gonna interrupt something probably. Oh! The winding corridors are quiet, dark, and an eerie blue light catches my eye as I turn the corner to find August's office. There's an unnerving buzz, a low electric hum. A dull glow radiates from the walls that surround their door, as well as the door itself. There's a formation of strange, messy vines through the plasterboard and wood, no apparent pattern to them. 
can hear August moving around inside the office, and my momentary panic that they're in trouble subsides. Okay, good. I was worried we'd go barging in. <laughs> Since no danger here, just power. Magic. <laughs> Seek them out. It's speaking to me, the faintest of whispers. I find myself transfixed, reaching forward with little thought to push the door open. Ooh, where are they? The sight I met with is nothing short of incredible. The walls are glowing brightly, luminous veins of magic pulsing with life. August sits at their desk, toying with the ends of their silvering hair, lost in quiet thought until the click of the door closing startles them. Yeah, maybe we should have, like, not. Bitch, I was waiting on you. They, st <laughs> they stand quickly, a look of both shock and slight embarrassment on their face. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. Ha uh, oh uh, Sarah, what are you doing in here? I asked you to wait. They open their mouth to, pr to protest further, but they pause, watching me as I take in my surroundings. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. I walk over to the roaring fireplace, reaching out to run my fingers over the elegant patterns that surround the mirror that sits pride of place above the fire. I feel a delicate shock sparking through my fingertips as I make contact, but I don't pull away. Instead, I trace the swirls, the curves, closing my eyes and drowning in the feeling that flows through me. This is intimate. I feel alive, impossibly connected to something or someone. It's embarrassing. Stop touching my magic. I think this is the horny. I think this is the horniest moment of the entire. Stop touching game. my magic. That's that's sensitive. August draws nearer to me, a bright flush painting their cheeks, the tips of their ears, their chest. But I can see. I. They pause again, taking a deep, shuddering breath as I continue to follow the path of the magic. They close their eyes for a brief moment. When they open them again, they appear more relaxed, more composed. This is intimate. They join me in looking at the patterns, brow furrowed. I spend so much time here pouring everything I have into my work. Thanks to that, my magic, it... It's been a little unstable lately. They clear their throat, swaying where they stand as I remove my hand from the wall, averting their gaze almost shyly. It's not dangerous, I just don't know how to make it stop. This is really a huge departure from the other dates. Then don't. Ooh. They look up at me with wide eyes, a small smile crossing their lips. Don't. That simple? Yeah. I find it so shameful that I cannot control it. Is this why you're jealous of Ezra? My fingers twitch at my side, and I feel a desperate urge to reach out and touch the bleeding magic once again, as if compelled. There's no shame in being powerful. You should embrace it. It's part of who you are. Their eyes shine as they fix their gaze with mine, a stunning mixture of vivid blue and swirling violet. Part of who I am. No one has said that to me in a very long time. Your magic is beautiful, unique, just like you. I know! Their gaze, their gaze does not waver, and for the first time I feel a certain sense of calm rolling off them in generous waves. They take a deep breath, brushing their hands over the front of their perfectly unwrinkled shirts. I can't believe August owns a ye olde ironing board. Um, thank you. I really don't- I don't really know what to say. We- we'd better get going. I wait for them to grab their coat, the fire left to die in the hearth. As I follow them out the door, I turn to check on the magic one last time. It grows brighter for the briefest of moments, flickering and snuffing out like a dying star as August steps outside. That was intimate. The market looks incredible. The first time I played this game, I did not do that scene. Because I was like, I think it's too early to flirt. Robin? And I missed it. I, I missed that. I am calling you a coward. I'm calling you a coward right no, now. No, I am not a coward. It's specifically that I am very old-fashioned. And I'm not going to flirt with you till like the third Cowardice. Day. It's not cowardice. cowardice. I'm just old-fashioned. Cowardice. They were cowards in the old-fashioned.
<laughs> the rocket looks incredible. It's alive with color, full of smiling faces and laughter. It's warm, despite the bitter cold, and I feel my worries and apprehension washing away, even if it's only for tonight. Can I please explain to them why I was late? It's such- it's bothering me so much. If I'm going to be forced to do this, I might as well enjoy it, right? You get to tell them tomorrow to when tell you, on your job. August stays close, apparently still quite unsatisfied that they have to be here. Ugh, oh, isn't this awful? Everyone is so happy going about their evening as if our people aren't being slaughtered. Wow. CEO of see the glass is half full, half empty. Sorry, I can't speak <laughs> English. I quirk my brow at them, stifling a smile. So, General, tell me. <laughs> it's fine, I know your first language is dumbass. Yeah. So, General, tell me. What would you be doing right now if there was no investigation and no festival? They don't hesitate to respond, staring dreamily into the distance. I'd be drinking. <laughs> I wasn't wrong! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was laughing. <laughs> I'd be killed up at home in front of my fire, reading a good book and nursing a glass of the finest wine. A perfect evening. Boring. They stare at me with narrowed eyes, suddenly suspicious. What? Why? I mean, why? I'm just making fucking conversation with you, you bastard. <laughs> Flirting. I'm just interested to know what vices you have, if any. Vices, hmm? I have plenty of those, most of which would be none of your business. I'll decide what's my business. I laugh at the almost sultry tone of their voice. Oh, Robin, you have to do it again. It wasn't sultry. <laughs> I have to do it again, sultry. Wanting to yeah, if you're willing to do it. This is like our whole playthrough of this game is like me telling you the to do weirdest it again. game of truth or dare. Yeah. The weirdest, shittiest game of truth or dare. I have plenty of those, most of which would be none of your business. I'll take it. I laugh at the almost sultry tone. Okay, almost sultry. Yeah, that was definitely almost sultry. Of their voice, <laughs> wanting to press them further. Come on, General, indulge me. Tell me just one. And he's like, girls with short hair and big <laughs> glasses and dresses like a hobo. August bites their bottom <laughs> lip. Eyes burning. <laughs> August. <laughs> August, there's people who look just like you. <laughs> hey, look in this mirror. That's my type right there. <laughs> August bites their bottom, it's very in character. bottom lip, eyes darting around, checking who surrounds us before they step closer. The sweet scent of lavender fills my nostrils as they lean close. Long lashes dipped, lips parted. Not in a million years, ah! I don't know why that, that, that hits me, but it does. <laughs> They pull away, entirely too pleased with themselves as they turn on the on their heel and stride deeper into the market with purpose. Where we going? They pause, throwing me a look over their shoulder. Something mischievous that leaves me struck, stuck in place. What are you waiting for? Come on, let us get a drink. Heaven knows I need one. I follow dutifully, taking in the sights, sounds, rich smells. There's stand selling decadent pa there's stand selling decadent pastries and chocolates. Others potions and trinkets. I see a few familiar faces, but one stands out above all the rest. I bet it's uh Ezra. It, do you know it's Ezra? I don't I don't remember. I think it's Piper. It's the market. Ah oh, darn it. I don't Greek. remember it's Greek. his voice. I know it's Greek, but I don't remember what Greek sounds you like. Go play Assassin's Creed real quick. I will go play Assassin's Creed Pause real quick the... and come back. Okay, switch your <laughs> capture um over to Assassin's Creed. We'll play a few minutes of Assassin's Creed. You get the voice. I, I don't have that. That doesn't play on get, I, Go get your capture card, plug it into whatever it does play on, and then play it. I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna go, go for, for it. it. It's it's Greek. It's gonna it's gonna be bad, but you know what? It's that's that's my prerogative. <laughs> I hate, I hate me too. No! You're not allowed. I love oh, you. you. <laughs> I hate me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's we're just. This is why we're gonna have video game characters love you until you learn how to. Oh, do yourself, I love okay? that. That's therapy right there. That's free therapy. Oh God, is that why we enjoy dating? Yeah. Games? Did you just figure that I out? No. I've always. Been yeah, I think I think I'm doing a self reflection <laughs> for the first time in my life. I'm really not enjoying. Oh no, it. Robert! If you start getting like <laughs> self esteem, what are we gonna play? Shit, I don't know. Let, let's just let's have. We're Ezra gonna have talk to play to like let's... fucking PUBG or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna play PUBG. Can you imagine me playing PUBG? <laughs> That'd be so funny. Uh, for reference, um, I 
played, I have played Borderlands 2, but I play it on my Mac, I play it without a mouse, and I walk around trying desperately to aim, very badly, never running. I didn't know how to run until probably three hours in. Um, all of my friends made fun of me. I am not a gamer. Hey, Robin, I'm going to make fun games. of you right now. I deserve it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed on your behalf. Do you, are you, okay, are you telling me that story because you don't want to do this Greek accent? Oh, no, 10,000%. I'm, I am sorry, I keep saying 10,000%. It's fine. I'm sick of Fuck myself. Matt. Who cares? <laughs> it's just that I said it maybe like 10 times in the last two days. I'm not listening. Um, oh, well, anyway, we're done making fun of <laughs> okay. me. We're going to talk to us. talk to us. Gus, Sarah, how wonderful to see you enjoying the festival. Not bad. That sounds a lot like uh, episode the last. It's similar, I but I don't remember. Yeah, I see August tense, their shoulders tight as they stop dead in their tracks at the sound of his musical voice. Please tell me why you hate this angel. Real quick, let me. What's that? I keep going to the wrong place for the settings. I think the music needs to be down a little bit. For okay. You. That's more than a little bit, but you do you. It. I'm terrified that in editing I won't be able to hear your voice, but it's okay. I see August tense, their shoulders tight as they stop dead in their tracks at the sound of his musical voice. Ezra? Gus, how are you? August remains tense, their words curt, and any ounce of calm they had settled over them has swiftly turned to ash. Yes, good. You? I'm wonderful. It's good to see you. You look uh, better. I love you. Just I, sorry that it yourself. just went into Omen. Huh? You went into Omen a little, but you're, it's just funny watching you roleplay with yourself back and forth. Oh, I was going to joke about that. That's like a, a tropes <laughs> thing. I think back to the first time I saw these two together in Ezra's shop. August had looked awful, tired, drawn, on the precipice of passing out. This whole thing, like me voicing both of them, feels a lot like when I'm having ar arguments <laughs> in my own head, and I'm still like too afraid to be confrontational even in my own head, so it's just like a passive-aggressive back and forth. They avert their gaze from his earnest emerald eyes. Yes, I feel better. That's the wrong. <laughs> wow. I, yes. British. I feel better. Better. Thank you. Thank you. A little too cockney, but I'll take it. It's clipped, but it's something. <laughs> that describes my accent, too. A little too... A li what did that even represent? A little clipped, but... Oh, okay. It's something. Ezra offers me a sorry look and holds the goods he has cradled in his arms a little tighter. He looks at August with such an unashamed fondness that it almost hurts. It's almost a wistful gaze, a longing for approval or something. August doesn't give it to him, more interested in anything else other than meeting the witch's bright gaze. I decided to make an attempt to sweeten the sour mood. God, this is not going to work. Did you buy anything interesting, Ezra? Oh, nothing. Nope, Brit no, Blech. not British. Oh, nothing too exciting. D Get that R. How do they say they? They, they, uh, they? It sounds fine to me. It reduced the cost of goods during the festival, so just stocking up on some some things I'm short, short of in the shop. You got it. August is clearly uninterested in attempting to initiate any further conversation, and the silence that hangs between us is uncomfortable. Well, I'd better go and find Finnegan and the others. He's off showing Omen and Alcar around, and that particular combination tends to be dangerous. Wish me luck, and I'll see you around. Bye. Bye, Ezra. Good luck. Hey, you predicted it. What I predict? <laughs> Your character said oh. bye. <laughs> August takes a deep breath, watching the witch disappear into the crowds, visibly relaxing once he's out of sight. I feel like... I know this isn't what it is. Ah! I know this isn't what it is, but they act like exes. And, like... <laughs> they do act like August exes a little bit. Is, I, don't, like, I don't know what happened in the past, but, like, Ezra is wanting to put, like, put the past behind them and move forward, and August is like, fuck no. They act like exes. August takes a deep breath, watching the witch. They're the X pounds. something, but I won't tell you X, X what. Uh, Agent X, visibly relaxing once he's out of sight. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I know you won't like it, but I'm gonna ask. Nosy, nosy, nosy. I'm gonna compare it to what Ezra said. Also, did I tell you when I played this? Yeah. This route. You didn't ask. As soon as like, no, I get, I did the, the first flirting option I did with August was the one where August says not in a million years, and I said, 
but that sounds like a no. <gasps> so I stopped flirting with August. Robin. And basically did their route entirely platonically. Robin. <laughs> Maybe you need to find a different genre of games because I don't think you get these ones. I do not. Cause like I told you, when I played Hustle Cat, I got the two dead end options before anything I else. I feel like here's what I feel like. They said it in a sultry tone, and they were leaning forward, and their lips were parted, and their eyelashes were whatever. They talk about eyelashes a lot in this game. Like that's you need to learn to read body language. Okay. I, I look. I majored in body like language. Two different ma- two different things. Two different entirely different subjects that both both focused on body language, and I'm still like this. And you're still like, like I'm a lost cause. Maybe we need to just like practice. Like I'll I'll do some poses, and then you tell me what emotion you think goes with them. That's all right. That's what we'll do next time we hang out because we're really cool, interesting people. <laughs> the tension between them baffles me, and I'm more than a little curious to find out what's caused it. I can't possibly fathom Ezra doing something to warrant August's obvious anger. All I've seen of him so far is that he's kind, genuine. I don't mean to pry, but I'm going to pry. But what happened between <laughs> you and Ezra? August purses their lips, narrows their eyes. That is prying, though, isn't it? Yep! Yeah. Try that bitch open. I got this crowbar of emotional stability. I'm gonna crack it open. What happened between Ezra and What happened between Ezra and I is in the past, but guilt still lingers on my part. Ooh. Guilt still lingers on my part anyway. August feels guilty for something. Forgive yourself, August. Let it go. Let the let the Accept yourself. Forgive yourself. Yeah, that. Love yourself. I was gonna get into well, that guy. I was gonna around. do some like Hanzo Overwatch stuff. Oh, oh forgive I'm... yourself, brother. Except you're not my brother. I don't know anything about Overwatch. Well, I'll make you watch all the cinematics later. Work on. He seems to care for you a great deal. August looks off into the distance, fiddling with the sleeve of their coat. He's always been a foolish boy, but can't kill it. British, British. I'm going British. through every single accent in my head. He's always been a foolish boy, but caring for me, me after the way I treated him is by far his most idiotic choice. August, you're so dumb. August, you're so dumb. We've known each other a long time, and I have my regrets. A heavy sigh, and they roll their shoulders, standing tall once more. Listen, I'm going to be... Fr- okay, assuming... Well, since we're on this date, we're just going to pretend like I'm going to do your route, right? Like, I'm not going to stop being friends with Ezra. We gotta wake this work, because Ezra's invited to the cookout, you know, Ezra's invited to Thanksgiving dinner. We have to figure this out, okay? I want to talk about, real quick, I, I have to roast, I'm, I'm gonna make fun of you for this. The fact that you, a white individual, said Ezra is invited to the cookout. I like cookouts, I don't know what to tell you. A heavy sigh, and they roll their shoulders, standing tall once more. Regardless, that's not something to be fixed in this moment. Let's move along. Even if I wanted to press it further, August turns and continues in their search for the drink stall, giving me little choice but to follow. August, I could just walk away. It's not that I have little choice. There's lots of choice. I could do anything. August's <laughs> expression brightens as they spot a little wooden stall at the very edge of the market, the rich scent of cinnamon and cloves in the air. Let's get drunk. The stall holder smiles, eagerly waving us over. <laughs> bald man, how does the bald man sound? <laughs> Robin, it's your turn to be bald would, man. Would you like would you like sexy muffin again? Robin, what does the bald man sound like? Robin. General Willenheim, a pleasure as always. Who's your friend? I know you don't know anything about uh, Overwatch, but thank you, Reinhardt, for gracing me with your presence. <laughs> I, just, I know who that one is. I know, but you I doubt you know what he sounds like. He does not sound like how you just like. sound. Something about the way you like cheerful it, it's the delivery. General Wilhelm, yeah. This is Hunter Robin, who hasn't yet had the chance to enjoy your wonderful wine. We gotta remedy that. They turn to me, eyes bright. Yay, I'll do anything that makes you happy. Would you like some? That's weird, I won't do anything that makes you happy. I changed my mind. Yes, 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 yes. I'd love to. August's smile widens, and they turn to offer the bald man their coin. Oh, you pay him for me. I wasn't expecting to have to do this voice. You got it. Enjoy the fireworks! That's good. That's really good and regular. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it, but I'm having to, like, 
do that kind of scoop arm I motion. Felt, I like, I heard you shuffled a little bit and I, I automatically <laughs> attached that Each motion to that Each time I did that, that voice, I had to do the arm, I the arm shuffle. I'm not lying to you, I motion. heard it. <laughs> I hate that you know me so well. <laughs> I love how NPC-ish the bald man sounds. Like very- NPC. He is an NPC. Exactly. You've got it. You're, you can be typecasted as an NPC. <laughs> we bid him farewell, handing me the handing me the steaming cup. A slice. Who is the subject of the sentence? We bid him farewell, handing me the steaming cup, a slice of orange, and a stick of cinnamon, decorating the dark liquid. I think two sentences just got smushed together. Don't worry. Yeah, about we we handed. Him we know cup. what's going on. I I mean, yeah. Now we can finally enjoy this wretched festival. I love what a hater August is. It's very funny. I bring the cup to my lips and take a sip. The liquid instantly warms my insides, the rich taste of it lingering upon my tongue. It's delicious. Thank you, August. You're quite welcome. They look so soft right now. Look at this pretty soft face. We, that's, how they, that's how they get you. With the soft face. You. How do they get me? With a, They sneak up on you with a soft face. Okay. We eagerly cradle our cups. The and then they hit you with a bitching, and you're like, oh no, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, okay. The warmth thawing our frozen fingers as we continue to wander through the market. The festival is in full swing by now. A band plays near the docks, people dancing and singing, and a rather large crowd begins to gather near where I assume the display will take place. I spot Ezra trying, and apparently failing, to teach Finn the simplest of dance steps. He seems to be gaining some sore toes in the process, and I've never- I want to make fun of- uh Finn for the fact that Finn is like literally over 600 Stop, years old. I was literally when I was going to finish reading this page I was going to say that you took my comment <laughs> you should have had a different and I've never said that's not that's not how this works I was just waiting until I finished reading the thing instead of interrupting and I've never seen a vampire be so inelegant Omen and Alcar sit on a bench at the edge of the beach sharing a bag of what looks like chocolate Alcar shielding it with his cloak and a firm scowl each time Ezra glances over to check on them Alcar, you're not supposed to get oh, it's chocolate. I smile, finding myself warming to this strange little town and its odd inhabitants more and more by the day. The people aren't bothered by their presence. I nod towards Ezra and his company. Sometimes. Casimir is harmless until he's not, but he's been a valuable ally to us and Harry respects him deeply. He offered Harry and his hunter a lot of ex... ex I can't say the word assistance. He offered Harry and his hunter a lot of ex assistance with some particularly, particularly nasty cases back in the day, specifically the elimination of Leviathan Casimir. Oh, there's so many words in the sentence that don't mean much to me. I know that name. I should imagine you do. He wreaked havoc across both Aklea. Al Al sure. He wreaked havoc across both Achillea and Escria for centuries. For Finn centuries. was in his clan? Finn was his, Levi Sire. Oh, I remember some stuff about Finn's sire. Not much, but I remember that that's a word that has come up before, and that's the extent of how smart I am. <laughs> Me taking a test. I know I've heard this word. I let my gaze wander <laughs> to the vampire, wondering how someone with such a nefarious sire could have turned out like him. I like to believe that he's changed, that he merely went along with Levi to survive, but... I can attest to, I think he's changed, dude. Never let down your guard. No, I will let down my guard all the time, whenever I can. Like, August, I don't think August sleeps. Like, August never lets down their guard. I'll sleep enough for the both of us. Like, August just needs a really good spa day. Just one. I look at Alcar next, remembering how the townsfolk responded to him in the tavern. And what of the lichen? They were quite hostile towards him at the wolf the first time I met him. What an ironic place to be hostile towards him. We've got our eye on him, but he behaves when he's around Ezra. People feel more to ease seeing them together, I think. He's whipped. I nod, watching the gentle way Alcar interacts with Omen. Aww. Is Piper here? I told her she had to be. She's acting as God. Why do you hate Piper? That's my other question. No night off for her, then? Piper doesn't do nights off, or days off, for that matter. She has her flaws, but her work ethic is, ad is admirable. Mm, okay. I'm going to stutter my way through it, but I am going to say it in the accent. By <laughs> some weird coincidence, I see her heading towards us. 
What a weird coincidence. She waves at me with a smile, but it fades when she sees who I'm with. Hey, Piper. Oi, oi, what do we have him? August sighs, their eyes practically rolling out of their skull. Aren't you supposed to be working, Piper, not disturbing us? We're on a date, Piper, you jerk. I already did your date. Oh, us now, is it? Are we not a team, August? Yeah, August. Now I'm switching sides. Yeah, August. Another <laughs> sigh, and August mutters something under their breath that sounds a lot like a curse. I think Piper's not reading the room well. I think August is trying to imply that he and I, they and I are on a date, and Piper's just, like, not receptive to that. No, Piper, t- P- Piper knows. Piper has to know. You almost said Piper it. just doesn't care. Another side. I almost yeah. said it and I'm so sorry. I don't care. Like you can say it three times. I need to put up a counter on the side of the page that would every be time really I say funny. like every okay, so for the audience, I have a word. I swear like every week, two weeks, whatever, I just pick a word and it comes up in every sentence that comes out of my mouth and it's annoying. I need to put a counter up for it, whatever it happens to be. And right now it's just using 10,000%. 10,000%. Another sigh, and August mutters something under their breath that sounds like a lot like a curse. Busy night? Any trouble? She manages to tear her death glare away from August, albeit reluctantly. I exist to diffuse tensions. That's the only reason I'm here at all, <laughs> is to just make sure nobody... You're here to solve everyone's... Hands. Everyone else's uh, life issues. Yeah. It's boring is what it is. You couldn't have allocated one of your juniors to man the festival, General. And why would I do that when I know it annoys you so much? I guess. Don't be mean. Plus, there are juniors here, as you know. I did place you in charge of this event. Is that not satisfactory? Now it's Piper rolling her eyes, a condescending smile crossing her lips. To add insult to injury, Piper places her clenched fist to her chest in a salute I haven't seen since training school. Oh, thank you, Major General. I couldn't be more honored. She laughs. She relaxes the salute. An undignified snort that I can't help but smile at. Go away! I already did your date! I already endeared myself to you. You can't snort laugh in front of me now. I can practically (laughs) feel the annoyance rolling off of August, but they somehow keep their cool. Very clever, Merriman. I hear our names being called. A familiar and unmissable figure emerging from the crowd. God, what now? Can I just... Oh, well. At the sound of his voice, Piper grimaces. Oh, no. A date with August is actually a date with literally everyone else August is... It's not a date. It's a fucking... It's like a boxing ring, but with words. It's just like... Everybody just comes up to argue and hate each other. And it's annoying and I don't like it. As much as I'd love to stick around and listen to you and Harry kiss each other's asses. Kiss each other? Kiss each other? Who said anything about kiss each other? Piper just did. Kiss each other? Click. Okay, there you go. See you around, Sarah. <laughs> Nothing for August. She clenches her jaw, offering August a goodbye through gritted teeth. Enforcer. She hates you. A mere moment later, Harry takes her place. Does Harry have a voice? Harry was like sophisticated but that's all i got for you i have not i did not like i i didn't register it fully did not register something important in my brain just 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 do it i'll just do something augusta sarah how wonderful to see you enjoying the festival wait i think that's right because what oh yeah do you remember it's firework time (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Why did I do that? Because it was funny. And because I think I bullied you into being weird. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I see you've been convinced to try that awful drink that Augustus seems to like so much. Oh, hey, listen, it meant a lot to them that I... <laughs> he offers me a wink, his eyes sparkling. You're far braver than I. I like cinnamon wine? That's not weird. How are you, Harry? August looks at him with an obvious fondness, but there's concern in their gaze. I hear you drinking. Glad to have a nut. Na- I'm so sorry that you can it hear me swallowing. It made a little squelchy noise. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought it was funny. I'm a loud swallower. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I eat in public. All right. Okay. 
<laughs> Just read the hairy lines in the hairy voice. Let's get this road on the show. I'm going to have to edit everything. Glad to have a night to feel normal again. Glad to have a night to feel normal again, however fleeting that might be. Good job. <laughs> Something immediately got into my throat <laughs> as soon as I started talking. I'll swallow it really loudly and then move on. No, shut up. <laughs> I trust that you're enjoying the festival, Sarah. You're not allowed to edit out any of the stuff. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, for a second I thought this was a flirt with Harry option, and I was like, oh, did I unlock something? Something secret? My gaze darts to August, a warmth blooming in my chest as they like, smile Like, you're gonna me. flirt with your boss in front of your boss's boss? You are- like, girl. Hey, Robin? Yeah, I'm gonna flirt with my boss in front oh, of my boss's no. boss. No! I'm gonna do it now- listen. Wait, we're wild here. This is you the wrong game, no... but- What? You have no- Morals? I know. No, it's sense of shame. self preservation. I have no shame. You have no self preservation. I have no self preservation. Instinct. I have no shame. I have. I know you have no shame. Um, I have the best of company, too. I have the best company, so it's hard not to enjoy myself. <laughs> hey, look at that flush! Ah! Harry notices our exchanged glances, and I see a smile widen exponentially. I love this. I couldn't agree more. August is quite special. August rolls their eyes, but their cheeks turn a brilliant red. I did that. Stop teasing me. I'm not teasing you. I am. I can assure you I'm not teasing. I mean it wholeheartedly. Maybe I'm teasing a little bit. Stop being so stubborn and accept some praise for once. Harry's the king of being supportive. August fixes my gaze, and it almost feels like Harry isn't here. Just them and me. Don't act like Harry's not here. That's the one thing. I'll try. Eee. Anyway, sorry for the flying visit, but I'd better get going. I have a speech to give. You know you said that wrong. Say that last part again. <laughs> I'll say the whole thing again for you. Anyway, sorry for the flying visit, but I'd better get going. I have a speech to give. <laughs> there it is. Thank you so much. <laughs> You two take care now, okay? I'll see you in the morning. Harry's smile twists into something more playful and he gives me a pointed look. I'm so sorry. Hey, Harry, I'm so sorry. I trust you'll actually be joining us this time, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I return their smile, albeit a little sheepishly. I apologize. It won't happen again. I have a good explanation, though. One that I look forward to discussing with you both. We'll see about that. We will see it. We'll see it. I'll do it. I hate you. <laughs> Harry scoffs, amused by August's attitude. I'm sure you do. Now, farewell, both. Enjoy the show. Get out of here. Dad. So, these fireworks are apparently quite prolific. I don't know if prolific's the word I would've used. August's face twists into an unamused expression. I imagine you'll be thoroughly disappointed. Unless he's wrangled some of the witches to enhance the show, that is. Oh, we haven't heard Harry give a speech at any of the dates yet. Is he gonna? I don't know. Uh, we never go watch the speech. Oh, we're just like... I think the speech is before the fireworks, and then there's fireworks. But I don't think we ever go watch the speech. Or maybe the speech is after the fireworks. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'd better go and find a spot. Can I wear your coat? We find a seat near the edge of the crowded beach, the area falling de deathly silent as Harry makes his speech. No, okay. August is August is definitely the person who goes, damn, Jackie, I can't control the weather. <laughs> but I would look so good in that jacket. We all got to appreciate. We all got to understand. It would be trailing the floor. It would be great. Well, it's funny because... Why is it funny? Wait, no, we don't know that yet. Oh, don't, don't tell me. Don't say a damn thing. He talks... Of it was just going to be about, like, the specifics of August. Don't... Magic. He talks of perseverance, of community. And without directly mentioning the horrible things this town has had to endure, he inspires hope. Sounds like a mayor. Just vague messages of hope. I look at August. Well, he's basically the town police chief. I look at August, but their expression is unreadable as they stare at the blackened ocean. I wonder what they're thinking. They're thinking about me. I'm gonna watch them. The fireworks begin, an incredible display of vibrant colors lighting up against a sprawling canvas of shimmering stars. <laughs> I smile as I hear the excited giggling of children and adults alike. 
but as others may be distracted by the vivid sparks, I find myself watching something else and feeling sparks elsewhere in my sparks heart. Sparks of a different kind. Sparks of a different color. Something far more beautiful. We should write romance Fair, novel. Yeah. I turn to look at August. Colors. We we could write like the kind of erotica that people laugh at all the time. Yeah, but like that's what you and I are destined to write. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we should just sit down someday and just like churn out like. No, I have one that I I've been trying to get through. One for like six years now. Yeah. It's not six years. I think it's only been four yeah. years. Um, and it's this one with like a a lion shifter of some kind, mm. and it's like really just straddling the boundary between like furry and regular okay. erotica. Okay. Um, and it's also aggressively straight, so you can see why it's taking me so long to get through it. Um, I turn to look at August. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I turn to look at August. Colors flashing across their face, lighting them up in the most perfect way. I smile brightly as they turn to meet my gaze, feeling that pull, that strange energy that thrums between us. They smile at me in return, and everything else fades away. Mark an almost kiss. No fireworks could ever be quite as breathtaking as August, not even close. The air grows thick with smoke as the impressive display comes to a quick end. A loud applause breaks out amongst the crowd, and I find myself unconsciously shifting closer to August. I see their fingers twitching where they rest between us. Our gaze is still locked as I move my own hand ever closer, reaching out. All these people have great peripheral vision. I don't. Ben? I cannot relate to this. Somewhere in the distance rings out a terrible and gut-wrenching scream. I don't- I'm- All the other ones, it was that we almost kissed. In this one, we almost held hands. Yeah, I mean- that's 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 very August. I, August, come on, babe. You gotta give me something to work with. August. End of the chapter.